think? I am so pleased that you came here as well. To be honest, Lady Impa deduced there is something related to the geoglyphs here. Why am I yelling? I don't know. I don't have hearing anymore. I forgot my hearing aids. Do you have AIDS? Remember the time when the goddess blessed him? You have AIDS now. Oh! <laughs> it took some efforts for us to get here, but we managed it. But then Lady Impa grew impatient. The moment I took my eyes off her, she went deep into the temple all by herself. Once I finished boring this balloon, I okay, planned to hurry after her. I wish I was a bird. The fact that it doesn't say everyone, it's just every nyan. Hello, every nyan. How are you? Fine, thank you. He responds to his own question. He responds to his own fucking question. Short. Hello everybody, it's me, Kermit the Frog. I'm playing uh, The Legend of Zelda, uh, Tears for Fears, I think it's called. Fuck you, Kermit! You left me and the wife and you left me, you left me the kid! That's Toad, that's sorry. That's Toad. Mm, help me! What? Oh god, that scared me. Her, ah. Oh. <laughs> I, I can't, I can't do Miss Piggy. I can only do Toad. Toad is the only voice I can really do. Ah. Uh. That's your line. Uh, Lady Impa, let's head down. We must investigate up close. She's wearing socks with sandals. They're all wearing socks. That's a crime. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's you. How dare you? That's a really good impression of me. Thanks. Stop kicking the microphone. I'm trying not to. You I just fixed it. I know. Oh, yeah. We should probably tell them about that. No. I mean, a bolt was loose. It went missing. So we had to fix it. End of story. There. Upon the wall. Are those not geoglyphs? <sighs> I believe this is the one we saw that was on the left edge of the wall. Really? Shazonai. As for the next piece, Why are they on a picture of my house? It's room for room. They pulled my IP address when I was playing CSGO. I have your IP, your home address too. According to the map floor, this is the near the Rito village. Oh. It seems the locations of the other geoglyphs from the wall are marked on the floor map as well. It's a cool looking sword and badass in the down right corner. Meow. I can hardly believe what my eyes behold. Is that a fucking shadow man in the corner? Wearing a hat? A hedgehog. <laughs> what are you doing here? Who could have guessed this old ruin in... Sorry. Words. Who could have guessed it's, it's this old It's canonical. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Cut! Cut! Hold on a second, I gotta take a breather. My brain's hurting. I don't hurting. remember my lines. It is shed that. It's all just a show. <laughs> that would make sense. I was reading that. It seems the locations of the other geoglyphs from the wall are marked on the floor map as well. I can hardly believe what my eyes behold. Who could have guessed this old ruin still held such secrets? It is said that the geoglyphs appeared all over Hyrule during no. the upheaval when Princess Zelda went missing. Hmm, how are they connected to these images here? Oh. There is no time to dawdle. Let us hurry and investigate the remaining geoglyphs. I just realized you had a turbo mm. button on your controller. What are you talking about? What? <laughs> How did you do that? There's a turbo button on your controller. That? Yeah. yeah. Do you know what a turbo button is? No. So a turbo button is a function that they added to like old GameCube controllers and shit. Or sometimes, I think even N64 controllers. Where if you hold the turbo button down and you push another button, it continuously pushes that button frame perfect. Oh. It's your oh, life. Lady Impa, perhaps you should rest a bit before trying to journey. Guy's oh. wearing a Choco Taco on his head. <laughs> <laughs> I can't unsee that now. He's literally wearing a Choco Taco. You cannot tell me otherwise. Link, if you happen to see a Choco Taco during your travels, <laughs> I urge you to talk to the gentleman next to me as a matter as well. If more strange Choco Taco, I'm no way to get the other geoglyphs, just like the one you already experienced. But wear. this fucking asshole here, look at him, he's fucking weird. I don't even know his name. I haven't been reading it. Perhaps they will provide clues that will lead us to Princess... To this unnamed man! Who is this, sir? <laughs> Who is he? <laughs> Why is he wearing Kato? He, she's like, this unnamed man! He's like, I literally have a name. The man who has <laughs> no name! I've known you since birth! <laughs> the man who has no name! There's the oh, Master oh Sword, all the way up here. The beast that has no name. There's the Hyrule Castle. Let me just... 
Let me just... Let me just... You're me... not... You're literally the size of it! That thing is the size of you! You are miniature. Small. Alright, uh, what now? I guess we should go Uh, I guess so. Look at where they are. Which, where are we at? So, we're... Up here. So, we're over here. So, if we go down here... If we go down here, this is where the Master Sword is. We go... Oh, God damn. Jesus! If we go up here... What is that thing? That looks like one of the Phantom Ganons. I thought it was Ganon's head because of all the hair. This is the Geoglyph we've already found coming on our, right. our way down here. Do you want to mark those places on the map? Hey. In little pegs? And there's a sword all the way down here. It literally looks like a... Damn. The fucking island Highly looks... Is look, fucking huge, look, dude. look. The island itself looks like the sword. It does, you're right. That should be everything. You sure? Oh, wait, no, I forgot. These two. A tear with a tear. Or a tear with a tear. Uh, or a tear with a tear. Or a tear with a... Okay. I'm assuming it's tear, because that's the name. Bears of the kingdom. Bears of the kingdom. People just start ripping their clothes. So this is... Clothes? Clothes. This is the tear of the kingdom! Shh! That joke was terrible. Fuck you, your jokes are terrible. Did it whoosh? What? Did you just get whooshed? Huh? Did you not get the joke? What joke? The joke I just made. That your jokes are terrible? You said tears of the kingdom. I said your jokes are terrible. Did that fly over your head? Yeah, I thought you were just meant terrible as in bad. I cannot believe that flew over your head. Bro, you say terrible all the time. It's I like you... cannot believe that it, flew over your it head. It would have been different it if you- It was so obvious. It would have been different if you went terrible. I'm not going to emphasize. Then it just sounds like you're speaking regular. Why would I think there's a hidden meaning? Oh my god. You know I'm a very direct person. You have a very lack of brain cells. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck your mom. Why would you want to do that? I don't know. More experience. No. <laughs> She'd probably just bitch at you the whole time. Probably, yeah. <laughs> I hope my mom never sees this episode. She probably will. Oh, Tomorrow. No. And he nothing can go wrong. Moon. Look, Link. I don't know why, but that doesn't sound like Zelda. Link the blood moon. Link. That doesn't sound like Zelda talking. It sounds like someone else talking. Link, I need my eating pad, Link. Link, buy me chocolate and orange juice. What? Nobody eats that combination. Yes, they do. I have had many girlfriends. Trust me, they do. Oh, ladies lady over here. Ooh. Fuck you. Anyway. You're a little bitch. Fuck you. What was I talking about? Yeah, so, uh, a lot of people, actually, that I've dated before, a lot of women, have eaten and drank orange juice and chocolate at the same time. That sounds like a really bad mixture for your body. This milk and citrus do not mix well. Well, I'll tell you what, they seem to enjoy it, so... People crave pickles and, uh, chocolate. Pregnant. I'm just gonna teleport out of here. Where should we go? To the club unless you want to do a different. Unless you want to do a different. Uh, well, we're thing. gonna have to visit the different regions. So I guess while we're still in area of Hyrule, we should get the other one that's in the area. Yeah. So we'll go to the one that's we're nearest right now. So we're right there. We should go to this one. I love how you're just a little bit off from where they <laughs> want to send you. Hmm? The circles. Where's a stable? Is that the geoglyph that you... Yes. I'm talking about circles. Is, are those the geoglyphs that you selected? The, the actual quest markers? Those are the quest markers for the regional issues. Uh. I'm gonna get blue back because fuck that horse. No. Go catch another horse. I don't want to catch another horse. Yeah, I might find ah. one that's faster. Probably, uh. probably not. Well, to be fair, I'm gonna harass you to go capture oh. the big horse. Eventually. Yes. He's got some of the best stuff. God, do you main quest stuff? No, catch horse. I like horse. Oh. Ah. Ah. Uh huh. Oh. Uh huh. Great conversation. Talk to me about shit. I already fucking know. Let's see. What's an issue with the Lucky Clover Gazette? Hmm. Freezing temperatures bring feathery shivers to the Rito. Rito village is facing food shortage. It's cold winds make travel to the village dangerous for resident and visitor alike. Uh. That's awful. It sounds like anyone trying to get into the Rito village needs to prepare themselves for harsh freezing weather. Uh. There's so much to read in these newspapers. Woohoo! Woohoo! Sa, sa! Yay! 
Yay! I'm gonna buy him out of yeah, stock, yeah. dude. Wow! Uh, I've got shit to sell. So really, it looks like the um, rubies, topaz, opal, and whatever else are all just for ele like uh, elemental attacks. And amber itself is used for, uh, yeah, just regular shit, whatever. I have a lot of opal. I don't think I'm gonna need water anytime soon. I don't understand how Link is able to function without having to stay oh, oh, once in a while. Because you can go through your entire Zelda playthrough without having to stay. Oh. I mean, if like he is a knight, I'm sure they're training for that. But, I mean, he never there you go. sleeps. Unless you it's make a gem like quality makes it highly available. One theory is that it has the power to light up its environment. I mean, did you ever think about that? I know he never sleeps unless he's intelligent. Have you also noticed he doesn't have these bathroom? <laughs> I don't know, maybe he shits his pants. He's very King. sad. So, Link, do you, um, do you ever have to use the bathroom? Do you have to use the bathroom ever? Up. Oh, oh. oh. Link, you smell like you haven't bathed in days. No, that was just breakfast this morning. <laughs> I, I did I, did I, did we talk about how I saw you melt into the floor? No, I, well, I don't think we did, but we might have. Look, I'm going to do a thing. I'm going to prove to you that demons don't exist. Beelzebub, I welcome you to my home. Okay, well, he's a real demon. You literally saw me melt into the floor. That's not a you're, demon. You're not one to talk. That's called a hallucination. You saw me melt into the floor. You're not one to talk. That's a hallucination because I don't have medicine that helps me prevent hallucinations anymore. All I, I remember, I was, I walked away from you. So this is the kitchen with you. I walked away. You go, what? I go, what the fuck happened? Because you just melted into the floor. I, I thought... Maybe you had seen a shadow out of the corner of your eyes. But then you were telling me that you actually saw me melt. Yeah, that shit was not, um... Are you sure you're not being haunted? No, I'm not. Sometimes I'll see like, somebody walk by and they're not actually there. But I've never actually hallucinated like that. The one time I could ever say that I was the closest to hallucinating... Like, I was fully awake. I felt fully awake. But I couldn't move my body. And I can feel somebody breathing over me. Like, in my face. I could feel it. Their breath in my face. And they just went... Right in my face. And I could feel the wind blowing my hair back. I mean, I was really little. And I just couldn't move. I was trying to move my head. I was trying to open my eyes. I was trying to to move my body, but I was just frozen in fear because I felt like there was somebody over top of me. And it wasn't like a human scream. It was like a guttural lion roar almost. It was so fucking weird. And I think it was not only because when I was a kid and I, f I fell asleep on the couch, I think it was because I was really sick and I was taking medicine. I, had the, I had the flu or something. But it was so weird because it was so vivid. It wasn't like I was sleeping. But in sleep paralysis, you have that fear and they're kind of just staring there watching you and you feel uncomfortable. For me, I've never seen somebody in the room or heard somebody in the room while I'm having sleep paralysis. It's always that feeling of somebody being there. No, I've always, I've always but that seen. was the one time I ever felt like there was actually somebody in the room with me because what? I could physically feel them touching me. And it wasn't my dad, it wasn't my mom, because nothing human could have made that sound. So I'm pretty sure it was just me being high on meds when I was there. Because I have no other explanation for it. I was probably about eight or nine years old, and it was about three eight. Because immediately after it happened, it disappeared, and I opened my eyes, and I saw the clock, and it was like 3.35 in the morning. Mm -hmm. yeah. I cannot tell you the amount of relief I felt when I opened my eyes and realized that there was nobody there. Because as a, ki as a kid, you're afraid, and, you know, your parents will tell you, oh, it's just your imagination. So when I woke up, or I opened my eyes, or whatever the fuck happened, I was like, oh, thank God, it was just like, I'm dreaming, or whatever it was. So I was able to convince myself to go back to sleep after. But I've never had that experience again. I've The only other times I've had sleep paralysis was when I was about 15, 16 years old. And it was just a I can't move situation. But you, you have vivid. You, you, you told me about people standing over you. Mm -hmm. It's gotta be so scary. It's very common too.
unfortunately. Yeah, I've never had that problem. I've had very vivid dreams, but I've never had a sleep paralysis where someone is actually watching me. But I mean, hey, dreams are pretty weird. The scariest thing Everyone I saw <laughs> was, like, I guess you'd call it a shadow creature with, like, long, bony fingers. Your sleep um, paralysis demon. Uh, and it was like gripping the side of the bed next Whoa. to my face, and it didn't have any facial he features. Just wanted to say hello. Okay. He, sure. He, he wanted to give you a smoochy kiss to say goodnight. <laughs> give me a smoochy kiss. He wanted to give you a little peck on the forehead. Oh, oh man, I've had some pretty wild dreams before, but it is. I'm sure. I mean, people who take medicine on the regular. They've seen some shit. And I can't imagine that. I cannot imagine being in the room, not being able to move and seeing somebody over me or approaching me or touching me. Because I've never had it happen. So in my mind, it probably wouldn't register, oh, I'm just dreaming. It'd probably register, holy fuck, there's somebody in my house. Mm. Because for you, I guess you're kind of desensitized to it, but you wake up and go, oh, it's just a dream, right? But for me, because I've never had visual or audio, it freaked me the fuck out because I think there'd be somebody in my house. Because a ghost doesn't scare me. I do not think, oh, there is a ghost in my house. I immediately think, holy fuck, there is a person in my house. And that is more terrifying to me than the paranormal. Is the fact that if somebody is in your house, then the reality hits. Oh my god, there's somebody in here. Thankfully that hasn't happened, and hopefully never will, but I'd, I, yeah, I'd probably piss myself.